Hello YouTube! So today I'm finally going to update y'all on my new position as a pharmacist and I apologize for the messy background scene that you see. I am sitting in our horrendously messy office that we have yet to tackle and clean up but there's really good lighting right here in front of the window so I thought this would be a good place to have a sit down talk down video with y'all. I was going to go walk Slater and actually talk to y'all outside but I cannot find his leash and so now baby boy is all excited for no reason and I feel so bad because he got all excited but now I can't go for a walk because I can't find his leash. To get on the subject of this video, so as all of y'all already know I got a new job not really a new job, I just got basically promoted. So just to go ahead and spill the beans, I am now a pharmacy manager at the Auburn Walgreens. So, so excited. Just briefly, for those of you who did not know, I have been a pharmacist for almost about two years now at the Phoenix City, Alabama Walgreens location, which is a 24 hour store, which is 50 miles away from my house in a different time zone. So every day I was having to leave my house two hours early just to get to work. So now I have gone from 50 miles commute in a different time zone to almost barely, not even hardly a mile down the street in my hometown in the same time zone. So 50 miles versus one mile and being at home literally like right around the corner could only be a dream come true, which has come true. <laughs> but I just wanted to give y'all an update about where my thought process has been going as far as like my career and where I want to go as far as pharmacy and how I got to this point in general. And I actually had a question not too long ago on my YouTube channel um, and I can't remember exactly what the question was, but basically the question was, do I see myself um, you know, I guess staying as a pharmacist? Do I find it like fulfilling? Um, you know, the, does it seem like uh, something that's sustainable for me? Can I see myself doing this long term? Um, does it fulfill me? Like internally, does it bring me happiness, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, all that. So I just kind of want to touch on a little bit about that. So for those of you who have been following me for a long time now, I'm sure you've kind of alluded to the conclusion that I have not really been the happiest as far as talking about my career, about where I've been. Um, and where I was working recently. So as mentioned, I was working in a 24 hour Walgreens um, in Phoenix City. Um, with that being said, the Walgreens I was working at is the busiest in the district, if not Alabama. I think it is actually the busiest in Alabama, the location, the store where it's at. So it's 24 hour Walgreens, busiest store in the district, and in a city, for those of you who are not familiar with Alabama or just within the area in general, Phoenix City um, has a reputation and not a good reputation. And I'm not saying this, obviously, this does not include every single person, obviously, in Phoenix City because there's a lot of great people in there. However, it does have the reputation of being just a really just shithole town. <laughs> um, not the best environment. The people there just to kind of give you a roundabout idea, it's um, a lot of low income, low educated, a lot of Medicaid in terms of like the, you know, healthcare um, field, like when it comes to pharmacy or hospital, a lot of Medicaid population. It's a, also a town that has a big reputation for a lot of illicit drug use and just drug abuse in general, um, prescription drug abuse, so to speak, not so much as illicit drug use, but also prescription drug uh, abusers. So it's a, it's a druggy town. Um, a lot of crime rates, high crime rates. So it's just, I'm just trying to build a picture for y'all of, of the type of environment and the type of people I encounter daily at my pharmacy. Just not the nicest and cleanest of people that I dealt with mostly on an everyday basis. Um, so just kind of giving you a picture and a feel for the environment that I was in. Um, not only with it being a super, super busy store, but the clientele that I dealt with on a basis let me just put it this way. It was a good day if I did not have my life threatened or my future kids' life threatened, okay? And I I mean this with 100%. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Um, if I could only share with you the stories that I had daily, <laughs> that I, I got to where I wouldn't even share with Cody anymore about my day because it just became a norm for, the, for my work environment that I was just kind of like, meh. It was a good day that I didn't have my life threatened, you know. Um, that just kind of gives you the idea of the environment and the clientele and customers that I dealt with and patients that I dealt with on a daily basis. With that being said, I 
honestly, I hated getting up every day to go to a, a work environment, a place that I honestly thoroughly just did not enjoy working at. I was not finding any type of fulfillment in, in being a pharmacist. I was looked at as basically just a vending machine for prescriptions. I was not treated with any type of respect as a healthcare professional, as being a pharmacist, as being a person as that last line barrier and protectant of you and your prescriptions between you and your doctor. I could not tell you how many times that I have quote unquote saved a, per a patient from their doctors prescribing um, certain medications, overdosing them, giving them too much and not getting any respect. I get cussed at for intervening with their prescriptions. Anyway, so let's go on and on. I could get on a tangent and a rant about that, but I'm not, that's not the point of this video. I just was not in a place where I was like, you know, I, I chose the right field for myself. I'm in a career where I chose the right path. You know, it just kind of had a lot of those kind of thoughts and feelings and emotions. And don't get me wrong, I literally, prayed and prayed and tried to get myself in the right mindset every single day I would go to work because you just never knew what, what kind of stuff that you were going to encounter um, working there in that pharmacy. And I just really kind of questioned, I was like, wow, is, like, is this how the rest of my career life is going to be? Like, is this what I signed up for at, in terms of being a retail pharmacist? I was like, there really, there has to be more to this because like, I'm not finding any type of fulfillment at all in my career. Um, I'm not, it's not whatever, it's not what I expected. And it was hard. Like, I know a lot of it has to do with kind of the type of career route I went. I did choose corporate retail pharmacy. Um, the location I got staffed in was not the best location. I mean, it's a really hard location. This this place really gave me some tough skin really, really quickly, <laughs> um, as you can imagine. But, you know, I just, I, I really struggled with, is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? Like, this doesn't bring me any type of happiness. Um, and so for a couple of months ago, I, I really dove hard and, and to be honest, like, and I didn't really talk about this in anybody other than just like myself and Cody and like my family, but I really searched out there hard and long for other pharmacy job opportunities. And I applied to so many different jobs out there that I, I found on the internet, even jobs that I was like, I really don't want to work for, but if it would get me out of Phoenix City and out of just that Walgreens location in general, like I would be, I don't even care. It would just be the next step to maybe, maybe finding my happiness as a career pharmacist. <laughs> um, so I did that for the longest time. I applied to several different things. A couple of jobs that popped up that were, would have been like, oh my God, this is like my dream job I went out for and unfortunately did not get. I prayed, practically begged God every single day, um, you know, just please get me out of the situation or, you know, or like, I understand like you have a plan for us all and your plan is always bigger and greater than mine. But I just kind of always joked, just like, but please just get me out of this situation. I don't even care what it is, but just give me the patience to wait for that plan, that ultimate plan to come for me as I know it will, because again, your plan is always bigger and greater than anything that I could ever dream of and have. And it always has been for myself. So I truly believe that something bigger and greater was going to come along. I was just trying to really focus on my inner patience with that, with my future and just leaving it all in, into God's hands. And don't get me wrong. Again, I really did try to make the best of each and every day. I took every day at my job as a learning opportunity, a, an opportunity to better myself as a character, not only for just my myself as a person, but also myself just as a pharmacist. And like every day I try to really think about like, how can I be a better pharmacist? How can I be a better leader? How can I be just be a better person in general? And just focus on patience and kindness and loving others, even though I always would joke with God and be like, I know that we're supposed to love it every single person because every person in your eyes is a child of yours, but some of your children are really hard to love. <laughs> but anyways, so going back to applying to several different jobs several different months, several months ago, um, those of you know too, I also finally opened up my online business because I really got th this in my idea. I was like, well, what if I just at least went part-time as a pharmacist? Um, and starting my online business, this is something that I've always wanted to do. Obviously, y'all know that I'm super passionate about fitness and health. 
and all that and I love helping others and I just wanted to see about making finally a career about it turning my passion into a career so I finally jumped on and started my online you know training business and that has that has taken off tremendously and you know more than I expected as well and so I kind of geared my my thought process between behind is okay well I'm gonna go part-time pharmacist and then do um, this fitness online training on the side because ultimately that's something I would love to get more into so that was kind of the avenue I was actually thinking and then um, another job opportunity came up and that was kind of the path that I was going on um, and just actually a couple, about a month ago another job opportunity came up with the VA and I the VA working for the VA is something that I would always actually love to do and it's still on my horizon of things that like if the opportunity ever came about I would love to do that um, sorry, if you hear any whining that's later in the background, he sees another dog outside. He just is a social butterfly. Um, so I applied for the VA job. During that time, um, another opening came up, the, which was caught me by surprise. So my district manager actually texted me personally. He was like, hey, have you applied for the Auburn Walgreens position? And I was like, wait, what? And he was like, did you get the email about the Auburn manager position coming up? Coming up, And I was like, uh, no. So one of the job opportunities that I've been looking for is obviously somewhere that's just near home. Somewhere where I'm not having to commute all the time. Um, and when the opportunity came to work for the Auburn store, which is a once in a lifetime opportunity, let me just tell you all that. First of all, I live in Auburn, Alabama, which is a um, college town, and it is a very prestigious pharmacy college town, because obviously the, there's a pharmacy school here. And so what happens is that most people who come to Auburn don't want to leave Auburn. Most people who come through pharmacy school here expect to get a pharmacist job here. However, the market here, as you can imagine, is so competitive. Like Auburn is a very small town already. There's lots of pharmacies crammed into this little small town. And when you have a pharmacy school that's producing pharmacists here left and right, you can imagine how competitive the market is here to get an actual pharmacist job. So jobs around here in the Auburn area are just unheard of. Like they don't come across very often. And so the Walgreens here in Auburn, there has been like a waiting list of people wanting to get in the door here to be a pharmacist. You know, there's been people beating down the door like, hey, when are y'all going to uh, step down and retire? You know, when are you going to leave here and open up a spot for me type thing? You know, people have just been waiting and waiting. Like the Auburn Walgreens is one of the highest sought after retail pharmacy jobs in Alabama. Because again, it once again, it's the only Walgreens in Auburn. Retail pharmacy are some of the most more easily um, accessible jobs out there as a pharmacist. Not saying they're, it's easy to get into, but I'm just saying as terms of you're not having to get a residency. So if you don't go do a residency or do anything specialty in pharmacy, like getting a retail job is going to be your most easiest bet in terms of getting a job as a pharmacist. So with that being said, that's one of the reasons why this Walgreens is one of the highest sought after retail setting jobs in the state of Alabama. So um, when the opportunity came up for me to apply for it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like, are you kidding me? Like, like it has been years and I mean years since the opportunity to work to even work in the Auburn Walgreens has came up. My first thought was, oh my gosh, like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, I might have a chance to actually be right down the street and work literally at home and be, get out of Phoenix City. Like, wait, what, what? And then I realized, I read the text message again and it said manager position. And I was like, oh, so manager position. I had always told myself that I would never be a retail pharmacist manager just because I, I have seen all the stuff and crap and just BS that my managers have had to deal with. Um, not only just being a manager, obviously from like a customer standpoint, but also just kind of from like a corporate standpoint, that's just kind of some of the things that comes with working for a corporate company, as you can imagine. So I was like, I would never be a, phar a pharmacy manager for retail far for a retail setting. I really thought hard and hard and long on it. And I prayed a lot to it, obviously. And I kind of like joked with God. I was like, okay, God, I've been begging and praying for an opportunity to get out of, of, of the walk, this, the 
Phoenix City Walgreens. I've been praying so hard for this, this VA job. I've been praying so hard for this other job to come along, like just to get me out of there. And I was like, but here you are presenting me with an opportunity to be a manager in Auburn. So here I am been begging for a position to be close to home, not really a long commute, and to get out of Phoenix City. But I was I did not ask for a manager position, Lord. I, that's not what I was asking for. But if this is part of my destiny, if this is part of my purpose, is this if this is what you have planned for me in my future, then I guess, I guess I'll consider being a manager. <laughs> if that's what you want for me, then I will apply to be a manager. So I ended up applying for the position because like ultimately I was just thinking like, oh my gosh, like this is my chance though to get out of Phoenix City, what I've been praying for for this whole time. And so I took a chance. I applied for the position and I got selected to interview. Of all the candidates, I got selected to actually interview for the Auburn position. So I think I, I applied for the position on Tuesday or Wednesday and then that Saturday or like that Thursday I got scheduled for an interview for that following Saturday. So I interviewed on the Saturday, you know, not really knowing what my chances were of actually getting this position because like I said, I knew there were so many people out there who were like a knocking down door for this position and so many other like veteran, like seasoned pharmacists that were, more, you know, more than eligible for this position over myself that has only been an actual pharmacist for two years. So I was like, well, you know, I don't really know what my chances are, but I'm gonna go for it anyways. But not long after <laughs> I interviewed, I think it was like the Tuesday after the Saturday I interviewed, I got the phone call from my district manager that I had been awarded the Auburn store as the man the new manager at the Auburn Walgreens. And I was just kind of like, what? Like little old me got this position over all these other eligible candidates, all over all these other more seasoned, more experienced pharmacists, and I got awarded the, the Auburn Walgreens. Are you kidding me? Like, who am I? Like, who am I? to get this position and so it really just kind of started to sink in like wow okay that's amazing and so and I just laughed I was like you're so funny Lord like you knew I did not want to be a manager position but for some reason you thought I would be a good manager and here I am I, I am now the new manager for the Auburn Walgreens so I cannot tell you how how thankful I am for this opportunity, but also how I'm still just kind of scared and uneasy at the same time. But I know that God has never given me anything that I cannot handle because I do have God on my side. And it's funny, no matter like how scared or how nervous or how like unknown that any situation is for me or any opportunity is that comes up for me, I always, I always end up prevailing through it. Um, and I know this is going to be like a learning experience and a tough experience, but I'm so happy that I got awarded that position. So now, like, I am just so happy that I can share with y'all that I am literally barely a mile down the street in my same hometown, in the same time zone, literally right around the corner. I don't have to commute hours on the end. I'm getting three hours of my life back every day now. Three hours of my life back. Like, do you know how much time and sleep that is for me now? Like, I'm so excited. You know, I asked my district manager, so, you know, what was it that stood out for me? Like, why did I get the position over all the other candidates? And so it had a lot to do with my work ethic at the 24 hour store in Phoenix City. This store that I have loathed for so long and I had just, I was absolutely miserable and hated my position there um, as a pharmacist at this God forsaken 24 hour store, all my hard work had paid off there. My dues had been paid. And there was a reason why I was staffed at that position, why I even got awarded the 24 hour store position in the first place. The one store that I said that I would never work in, here I am, I, was, I got awarded a staff position there and I helped turn around that store, I helped make it a better place. Even though it was in general, Going into that store versus coming out of it now, it has made like a complete 360. It's still another store that's just a work in progress. And it's just going to be like that just because of the city, the location that it's in. Um, but my, apparently the work that I put in there, 
um, and just my leadership skills and my, my work efficiency of just helping run the pharmacy more efficiently, helping manage different people in the pharmacy, not only just my technicians, but also other fellow pharmacists and floater pharmacists that came through there. Um, I guess all my experience, and let me tell you, when you work at that 24 hour store, you get a lot of experience. You get like five years of experience in like one year at that store. <laughs> let me just tell you that. So I'm just saying, that there is a reason for everything and there is a reason for every part in your life and there was a reason why i worked for so long in that 24-hour store that i just hated so much that there was a reason why i was there and it got me that experience and that time there you know that leadership building that pharmacist building aspect of it you know there was a reason why i had to pay my dues at that store to get a position like this in the auburn Walgreens store that again that so many people want and yet I got awarded it because of everything that I had done in my work ethic at the 24-hour store and I am just so grateful for that this was not actually the avenue that I was actually going um, you know as mentioned I was actually thinking about going the complete opposite you know I was actually thinking about going part-time actually even leaving Walgreens. And yet here I am, I'm getting a huge promotion at one of the highest, like most sought after stores. That is the update. <laughs> that is my long career update spiel of me being the new manager, the new pharmacy manager at Walgreens in Auburn, Alabama. Who'd have thought that little old Kelsey Douglas from LaGrand, Alabama would be a pharmacy manager at the age of 27. Yes, I'm 27. Sometimes I forget how old I am. But anyways, that's what I wanted to update you on. I just hope that this kind of gives all of you out there, all of my fellow pharmacists and pharmacy students that watch this channel and just other people that are in just a big, have these big career goals of there are reasons why you go through really hard times in your career times and I know I'm super young. I know I have so much to learn and this is going to be a huge learning experience for me. However, there's a reason for the time and place that you're in and just keep working hard. Just keep trying to make the best of each and every day and try to turn all the negatives into positives and use that as a learning experience. Anyways, that's all I have to say for today because of course I have rambled on for way too long and this video is extremely way too long so I'm going to get to editing it right now. But please give this video a thumbs up if it gave you some inspiration, if it gave you some motivation, if it gave you any type of insight, if it gave anything for you to take away from this video. Just please give this video a thumbs up, share it with people who may need to hear this and I just want to say thank you so much for continuing to watch me and follow me along this journey, not only my fitness journey, but also my career journey. So I appreciate each and every one of you so much, and I will be seeing y'all in the next video coming soon. Bye, y'all.